Most of us are spending more time at home, and if you're constantly cleaning your home to avoid the coronavirus, you could be doing more harm than good. Stella joins us now to explain more on this, and this is good timing for me. I just cleaned the whole house the other day. I had the time to on the weekend with no baseball games and other things, but you're talking more about the people that are like constantly cleaning here. They, that could be a problem, right? Yeah, absolutely. So if you're just doing it once a week, you know, most likely it's okay, Eric. I spoke to an environmental scientist who previously worked for the EPA for like almost 20 years. And she says right now, especially, it's important to improve the air quality in our homes. Dr. Cindy Lynn says many of us are trying to be responsible, right? Uh, we're cleaning, we're trying to avoid getting COVID-19. But what we may not realize is that conventional cleaning products have chemicals like ionic surfactants and fumes that are toxic and we're breathing them in. People are doing this and they're actually decreasing your own health along the way. Because the best thing to do right now is to make sure you're healthy. But if you're affecting your respiratory condition now and you get exposure, it's going to be tougher for you to defend yourself and your immunity will actually decrease. And Dr. Lin says if you have conventional disinfectant wipes, those are better than sprays. Ultimately, she says soap and water is the best and anything alcohol based will kill the virus. Just recently, she launched a website called Hey Social Good with her husband, who's a biophysicist. It's a data driven Yelp like platform that helps you find socially conscious companies. You can search by cleaning supplies, for example, and they'll call them up. And then you get to learn about the stories of these founders. A lot of them are small to medium sized enterprises and they really care. They themselves have come onto this row because someone got sick in their family and they found out that, oh, these ionic surfactants lead to all kinds of health issues. And the other advice that Dr. Lin has says, air out your home frequently. Just open up the windows. If you're going to clean it, just air it out frequently. She gave other tips and I have all that information on our website, cbs8.com and also her website where you can look up uh, all sorts of things that are, uh, you know, socially conscious uh, companies, toothpaste, you know, shampoos and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, this is a really good reminder right now, Eric. Yeah, and no problem opening up those windows here today too. let it all air out. It's gonna be a nice day. Mm hmm.